What's your uh, like training routine look like? Because obviously you're, I feel like you, if I was here, I'd live here. You probably seem yeah. like you would live here. So, do, so what's like your process going into a day, like a lift or a throwing session? What is your weekly routine look? Yeah, like? Yeah, and you know it's actually really easy because we were talking about it earlier, yeah. joking about it earlier. So I get out of class at eleven every day because I'm ahead on credits. Mm -hmm. So from there, I get out of school at eleven, come over here, uh, Coach Carter that you guys met earlier. He'll feed me. So I usually hit from about twelve to two. Um, and then when I, well, I'm in class still, I have a, my last period of the day is a weight room class. So, oh, fire. Uh, I got, I got an hour lift before I come and hit, um, that first lift in the morning is way more low intensity. It's a lot of triphasic work, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of hypertrophy or, uh, excuse me, um, plyometric work. Gotcha, so yeah. a lot of like, you know, weight balance, uh, weight force things, all this stuff, moving things quickly at a high rate, moving heavy things quickly. How quickly can you move things? Um, it's a little lower intense, but it's like, it's the athletic training that you need to be a great athlete. Um, and then. I'll come here and hit afterwards if I need to throw that day. You know, right now I'm just kind of getting the arm up to speed. So a little lighter on the throwing for right now, but we're working through the process of just getting it back to where it needs to be for the season. So um, if I need to toss it, I'll, that'll be after my hitting. So after that 12 to 2 session, I'll usually go home for about an hour, um, grab something to eat, grab a protein shake, whatever it may be that day, get some caffeine because at 3.15 I go back to the high school and that's my super high intent lift. Um, it's all hypertrophy. I mean, I'm talking four by four sets of squat and it's eight reps, eight reps, eight reps, and then a max set until you fail at 80%. So, I mean – that's another like hour that's about an hour and a half because it's it's legit that's olympic training that is for muscle strength and muscle size like that is that's when i get after it um so it's really nice because i have that balance of like getting the body right in the morning getting the athletic movement that you need to be a great athlete to stay where i am at that five tool position having a little bit of break to go work on the swing hone things in and then that you really get after it from like yeah. three to five um and then i just come home get some study done and then just play rainbow for play like rainbow, four yeah. hours a night so yeah, rainbow yeah, that's great fun. what's your best lift or what's your favorite lift it might be different actually. honestly my favorite lift is probably clean mm -hmm. and for a while that was my best lift um a 335 clean yeah so that was that was my best for a while but now it's i think my most impressive is probably my front squat really? which i got up to 425 dude so wow that's for was, one yeah for one that's really so, impressive uh, or you could argue my <coughs> reverse lunge i reverse lunge 375 for three damn on so, back or front back. have you ever tried front reverse I, lunge? Uh, they're okay yeah. uh, i just feel like i get a little unbalanced yeah it's um, tough you know i just feel like it's safer to go with the back rack yeah what's your biggest advice to like a kid who's like 13 watching this who like wants to be stronger throw harder hit harder all that i think the biggest piece of advice i can give is find a process that works for you you know a lot of these kids will go into a day and be like you know what i'm just gonna go in there and hit a ball as hard as i can mm -hmm. i'm gonna go in there and take 200 swings it's like no, break it up, find an attack plan, find something that works for you. You know, I was once the kid when I was 13, 14, 15, all I wanted to do was take a hundred swings, lift heavy weight and have a lot of fun. Like, yeah, that's great. But there's a time where you have to find a process that works for you. There's a time where you have to find a certain trainer or a hitting coach who can hone things in that are advanced that have been around the next level of the game. Um, and for me, like, I mean, I have four separate trainers. I have a, uh, like I have a, my own, like I do my nutrition on my own cause I'm very educated in that side. I do a lot of my own weight plan on my own because I'm very educated in that side and then I have like like I said four trainers on the baseball side so I've been able to market all of those things put them all together and have this fantastic process that I go in each and every day so um, for me my biggest piece of advice is just find a process and then cliche trust the process. That, so. was, that was a great answer. Yeah. A lot of people, yeah, I think a lot of kids, I talk about this a lot, but like they want just like the quick fix for five exactly. miles an hour on velocity, 100%. but it's like very slow process. Uh, I mean, it took me a year and a half to get up to like what I am now. I mean, yeah. from my freshman year, I was 135 pounds, 140 pounds. By the end of my sophomore year, I was 185. And I mean, it was a dramatic change, but you have to look at the, that was a year and a half, year and three quarter time. Mm -hmm. Like you're not going to notice it day to day. It's, oh, this week I felt a little bit stronger. Oh, a month later, that weight that I used to max out on, I can now do for three reps, yep. something like that. It's, there's no quick fix to anything, mm -hmm. to be completely honest. It's all got to take time. You got to put in the effort. You're, you're going to get in what you put out. Mm -hmm. so, or excuse me, you're going to get out what you yeah, put in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What yeah. are your like, biggest resources? Because you said you're like educated because uh, you probably take a lot of time to research what's nutrition, training, and all that stuff. What are your big, do you listen to like podcasts or books? So or yeah, uh, so from a mental side, I'm huge on this. So on a mental game side, I mean, I'm listening to the like Millionaire Wealth, yeah. everything on that side side because it's not so much about the money side that they talk about for me it's about the psychological the mental health like all of these things are fantastic i mean ed millette is one of the greatest speakers yeah, ever love man. listening to ed um i've actually had a conversation with ed it's fantastic wow. so 
that's really really cool uh read his book like it's great um and then i read a memoir called shoe dog on yeah and phil knight, knight yeah dude. really good there really like, good i'm super interested in that stuff i'm a very intellectual human and my way is reading researching listening um i can do all of those things you know an hour a night and you're gonna get so much smarter about your body about your head about your brain all these things like I mean, I'm super obsessed with that stuff. So, like, I'm a little, I'm nerding out dude, right now. Same. I, shoe dog. When you said shoe dog, yeah, I got dude. chills because I love that book yes, so much. Dude. So good. I'm gonna reread it before we go to Oregon because yeah. I gotta get back. Exactly. In that you gotta lock in because yeah, yeah. you're going to Oregon. You're going to so. Oregon, yeah. But, um, but yeah, like that stuff for me is huge. And then from like the weight side and the nutrition side, I mean, I've been around Olympic, CrossFit, everything. I've been on all sides of it. Athletic trainer from like a Division One standpoint. Um, so first of all, that's a resource that I can go to person to person and ask any question I want. They got the answer. Um, but I also do a lot of my own reading. I do a lot of my own researching. Uh, I mean, Google Scholar is actually really, really good yeah. if you use the Scholar yeah, and not yeah, just yeah. regular Google. Right. So you can find so many articles about the body and muscle anatomy, so many things like do that. Do you watch, like, YouTubers? On yeah, do that? so do I, like? I, don't, um, I actually don't, like, pick one. Mm -hmm. Usually it's just like, hey, let me look this up. Let's see what they have to say about it. Like, gotcha. it's a topic. Like, you know, kinesiology. I'll look up usually, like, something like Khan Academy. Yeah, like, they yeah, have yeah. a really good lesson they on do. kinesiology. Yeah. So, like... It's really, really, there's so many resources out there these days that if you don't want to pay for somebody or you don't need to, just get on the internet mm -hmm. and trust, find a trusted source that as a, you know, CSCS, something like that. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's so funny that you say that. Khan Academy actually has some really they good stuff. They got really good stuff. And not just like from your normal K through 12 standpoint, like they have some good adulthood. Very niche things yes, too. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Hit a pen and I pull up heavy In the layout on a Eddie I got three of us, run the valley In New Dior, knife up, belly